welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm gonna be showing you how i go about washing and treating my wigs at home please note that these are my specific methods that i've been using for years now it may not be what you use to or what you use so don't come for me in the comments okay okay so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna detangle the hair first i know a lot of people do this only after they've applied conditioner but i prefer doing it immediately while the hair is still dry it just gives me a bit more control of the hair and i've tried to do this while the hair was wet and it just showed me fire flame emoji so i'm just going to take a normal brush and i'm going to brush through the hair making sure it's detangled Okay, so I just want to state that I am washing a few wigs in this video. So the wig that you see in the video may not necessarily be the wig that you've seen in the first few clips. But the method is pretty much the same for all the wigs except my curly wig. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is you're just going to run some warm water through the wig. Close the tab, maybe make sure you've got just a little bit of water, not too much. And then I'm going to go in with this Tresemme Smooth and Silky Salon Silk Shampoo. I really like this shampoo. It really, really does make your hair smooth and silky. On other days, I usually use Moroccan Oil Smoothening Shampoo, but unfortunately, I'm out of that. But this is a really great alternative as well. thing is, Moroccan Oil is quite pricey and, you know, this is quite affordable and um it's quite big as well so it lasts you quite a bit okay cool so once you've got your shampoo on the hair i'm just gonna go in and wash the material part of the wig i find that this is the part that gets very very dirty for me since this is the part that's on my actual like scalp i'm also gonna go in with this little brush just to wash the lace of the wig because this is the part where i usually have the glue so i just want to make sure that this is extra clean i'm just going to wash this very very gently so so as to not damage the lace okay so i'm just gonna wring out the rest of the shampoo from the hair i won't rinse it right now i'll rinse it when i rinse out all of the wigs Okay, so because you've detangled or brushed, rather, your hair um, with a brush, it is supposed to look just curly and just big and messy and frizzy and just rather large. But if you put your hands through it, your hands are supposed to freely go through the hair and don't stress about how it looks right now. If it's authentic curly hair, once you put it back into water, it will go back to its original curly state. The only thing I'm going to do different with um, regards to washing my curly wig is that I'm going to wash it twice. I'm going to wash it first with this Tresemme Salon Silk Shampoo. <music> And then I'm going to wash it again with a John Frieda um, Dream Curls shampoo so as to just revive the curls and control the amount of frizz. So now I'm going to go in with this Tresemme Smooth and Silky Salon Silk Shampoo. Now this range is for dry and frizz prone hair specifically. I don't necessarily have dry or frizz prone hair, but I do love the fact that it leaves my hair so smooth and so silky. If you go to Clicks or Discam, you will see that they've got like a wide range of shampoos and conditioners. So I think it's best you go there and find a range most suitable for your hair. Now, as you've seen, what I've done is I've just poured in a little bit of water in the sink and then I've poured a lot of conditioner. I'm just going to leave this curly wig in this conditioner for about 10 minutes. I'm pretty much going to do the same for my other wigs. What I've done differently is that I've put all of them in a bucket as opposed to doing them one by one by one because I'm going to run out of conditioner if I do that. <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm going to gently rinse off the conditioner from my curly wig. I'm not going to rinse it too thoroughly. Then I'm going to go in with this oil and balm from the L'Oreal Eau range. I'm also going to go in with this extraordinary oil from the same range. And I'm going to mix the two in a bowl like so. And then finally, I'm going to go in with this Tresemme Keratin Smooth Deep Conditioning Mask. And I'm going to mix the three in the bowl like so. And I'm just going to smooth it all over the hair. This is what I call and an in inverted commas my treatment process. This is just how I go about deep conditioning the hair and making sure that it's well nourished and that I get that bounce back in my curls. I'm going to go in and take this plastic bag, put the hair in a plastic bag, tie it tightly, and then I'm going to put it in the microwave for about two minutes. Finally, I'm going to pour a little bit of water in a bucket and just rinse out the hair. I'm not going to rinse it out too thoroughly because I don't want to dry the hair out. I'm going to leave in a bit of conditioner in the hair just to make sure it stays nourished and moisturized. And yeah, it should be looking something like this. Finally, for my straight wigs, I'm just going to go in with this Keratin Smooth Deep Smoothing Mask from Tresemme and this Moroccan Oil Treatment Oil. I'm just going to mix the two together again and I'm going to smooth it all over my hair, focusing on the closures and on the ends of the hairs. Now, this is where I usually have a problem with my wigs. If you have a wig that needs a bit more of a treatment than these do, these don't really need that much love but if you have a wig that you really are trying to revive you can pop it in the microwave for about two minutes or so that's what i usually do but instead i'm just going to leave that in um, the mixture for about 15 minutes i'm going to grab a kettle of hot water and i'm just going to dip the the hair in it just to rinse off um that mask again i'm not going to rinse it out too thoroughly i just want to leave the hair nourished and allow the hair to dry like that finally i'm just gonna put the wigs outside and i'm gonna let them air dry for as long as they need to <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go in and blow dry the hair first. Now, this is very, very important. I always blow dry my wigs first before I straighten them. As you can see, I'm on the floor and I've got my knee on the closure and that's how I blow dry my wigs because I live alone and I can't really do it in anyone else's head. This is a really good method. <laughs> And then I'm going to go in and iron the wigs. But first, before I do that, I'm going to go in with this Moroccan oil protecting spray. This iron is really, really hot and you don't want to damage your wigs. So I just make sure my wig has enough of that. To make sure my hair is nice and shiny and nourished, I'm going to go in with this L'Oreal Alvive Extraordinary Oil. With this, you want to make sure that you section out the hair first and you need to start ironing from the roots of the hair or the tracks rather this will really really help you get that really straight and sleek hair if you straighten just on top it will look fine for a little bit but your hair will get frizzy because the hair that's underneath isn't really straightened yet so take your time with this section the hair with your finger Thank you. 
As you can see, I'm doing this with a styling brush. The reason why I'm doing this is because the hair needs to be straight first before you straighten it. If you attempt to do this without a comb or a brush, you'll just pretty much be wasting your time. Now, to get your hair really, really straight, you need to be combing your hair and straightening it at the same time. Okay, so once you've done that, you just want to put your wig on a mannequin just to flatten out the top of the wig so that it lays nice and flat and you don't look like you're wearing a helmet where when you're wearing it again see how i'm using the comb with the hair dryer just to make sure that the hair goes nice and flat i'm gonna go in with this revlon styling mousse this really really helps me tame the flyaways and really really get that nice polished sleek wig look this is literally the best thing and if you don't have it you need it <laughs> and for my curly wig i will go in with this frizz ease dream curls daily styling spray from john frieda if you don't have this it's really really simple you just take a spray bottle put in some warm water and some conditioner and that will really help revive your curls as well and that's just how i go about maintaining my curls on the daily Okay guys, so that's basically the end of the video. That is how I go about washing, treating, straightening, blow drying and styling my wigs. I pretty much let them lay flat in my wardrobe like this and this is how I keep them straight at all times. That's how I store them. If you do like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!